Hey guys, it's your Naked Vault Dweller, and in this video we're going to go over Minerva's next location as well as all of our inventory for a big sale for the dates of September 29th through October 3rd. And don't worry guys, I'm not going to go over who I am and what I do because pretty much everybody knows who I am and what I do. But in case you're new here, do me the honor and hit the subscribe button because we're pretty much all about having fun and we're just about to get started. For Minerva's next big sale, she's going to have 40 hot plans on display for us. And if you don't believe me, wait till we get to the cattle prod. Minerva is a traveling vendor that goes all throughout Appalachia selling her wares for 25% off the normal gold bullion prices, and on the occasion she'll sell some exclusive items. And before I throw out all the normal jargon that I throw out there about Bethesda you know, changing stuff up and things being in the video that are not in the world and things being in the world that are not in the video, hey, that still stands, so I'm not going to bore you to death with all that. You know it. Let's go. If you go looking for Minerva between the days of September 29th through October 3rd, you are going to find her hanging out with these settlers in Foundation. And with all the plans that she's going to have to sell, we're going to start with the camp items and the ammo converter. It's selling for 938 gold bullion. And the ammo converter is actually a pretty hot topic right now because in the last sale for Minerva, it wasn't in there. Instead, it was the chicken coop. And Paranoia 1 brought this to my attention, but I'm still going to double down and say the ammo converter is going to be for sale, but it's very likely that the chicken coop could be for sale. And if Minerva is selling the chicken coop, she's going to sell it for 563. Thanks, pal, for bringing that to my attention. Next, she's going to have the farmable dirt tiles it's going to sell for 375 and the scavenged solar panel as well as the super reactor they both sell for 1500 gold bullion finally in line with all the camp plans she's going to have for sale she's going to be selling the symptomatic plans for 1500 and the symptomatic is designed to cure you of diseases as well as give you rectal exams and i kid you not it says that in the description of this item on the fandom wiki for this item next we're going to jump over to backpack mods she's going to have the plan for the grocer backpack mod as well as the chemist backpack mod both of these plans sell for 263 gold bullion apiece or if you're a new or old player and don't have these mods the grocer mod lightens the load for food as well as the chemist mod lightens the load for you know chems they're fantastic to have and i highly recommend you pick them up even if you don't use them right now next for some armor mods she's going to have the plan for the resilient lining secret service under armor it's selling for 75 gold bullion and the plan for the treated lining secret service under armor it is 38 gold bullion and wrapping it up with the armor mod, she's going to have the plans for the Secret Service Pocketed Armor Limb and the Secret Service Pocketed Armor Torso. Both of those sell for 188 gold bullion. Scooting over to the Power Armor mods, Minerva's going to have the plans for the T65 Medic Pump. It's selling for 188 and the T65 Overdrive Servos as well as the T65 Stealth Boy both sell for 563 gold bullion each. Now let's talk about the armor that she'll have for sale. Starting with the Secret Service Helmet, it's selling for 1238 the chest piece is 938. The left arm, the left leg, the right arm, and the right leg all sell for 563 gold bullion each. If you're looking for a way to negate radiation or improve your stealth, then look no further than the plans for the Chinese stealth armor. It's selling for 3,000, as well as the Chinese stealth helmet. It sells for 1238. Just one more thing to add about the Chinese stealth armor. It doesn't provide a lot of protection from physical damage, but it does do a great job with the radiation prevention in stealth. So I would definitely pick this armor up if you can, because it's going to be a while before it's back on Minerva's inventory. Now Minerva's going to have the power armor plans for the Strangler Heart helmet. It's selling for 1238. The Strangler Heart torso for 938. The left arm, the left leg, the right arm, and the right leg all sell for 750 gold bullion. And if you decide to get these plans and make this power armor, bear in mind that you're going to need to get some vault steel from the purveyor before you're able to complete that. And then all the kids down at the playground are going to make fun of you because you look like shrubbery in the backyard. Good luck. Now how about some weapon mods? Starting us off with the Gauss minigun gunner sights. It's selling for 38. The Gauss minigun tesla capacitor for 75 as well as the Gauss minigun tesla dynamo also 75. Finally, she'll have the plans for the Warglaive Cryoblade and the Warglaive Plasma Blade. Both of those sell for 150 gold bullion. And bringing up the bottom of her list, she's going to have plans for the Cattle Prod. It's selling for 188. And if I find out that if anybody who's watching this video has purchased the Cattle Prod, I'm going to show up at your house late at night and smell your ear. I'm just kidding. I don't do that at night. Next, she's going to have the plans for the Dynamite. It's selling for 75. The Floater Nasher Grenade is 113. The Gauntlet... 188 gauss pistol for 188 and finally the warglaive for 2000 gold bullion 
And hey, this video has gone way longer than I anticipated. I appreciate you watching up until this point. I know many of us already have these plans. I'm really looking forward to what Bethesda has in store for us with the nuclear winter stuff, plus all the other plans they promised us. I'm hoping that on the next Minerva sale they'll start that, but I don't know. I do know I really enjoy making these videos. Even if I've got all this stuff, at least it's fun, you know, making fun of some of the stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's all I got. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I'll hopefully see you guys soon in Appalachia. Love you. Bye. Uh, hey guys, I seem to have gotten stuck in the power armor. Hello, is anybody out there? I need to read off the end credits. If somebody could just push the button to eject the power armor. I gotta pee.